Hello everybody and welcome kind of back to Kataria Fables. Now we uh, covered this one in the demo season back in June and it has now released, I think about a week ago now. Uh, so I thought I'd jump in and do a bit of a longer play because you guys seem to really like it when I did it as a demo. So I thought, well, we'll see how you like it as a long play. So uh, thank you very much to PCube for giving me the full game key to uh, check out and let's go for it. Single player, no game, okay. I'm playing with the controller. It is recommended now to play with the controller. Uh, I think it is slightly easier. And I'm gonna have to remember all the controls because I don't remember them. I hope, hopefully it'll come back to me. <laughs> Let's get that mouse off the screen. Legends speak of a time that Kanoidera faced the calamity. Once docile monsters were driven into a violent rage by a mysterious power. Brave heroes assembled to protect the people. After an arduous battle, the monsters were defeated and the mysterious power subsided. People returned to their normal lives, and peace was restored. Or so we thought. There have been whispers of the Calamity returning once more, with no heroes remaining to fight against it. What is the cause of this mysterious power? Will Kanoidera ever be truly at peace? Okay, so those of you that have watched this in the demo, this first episode will probably be a lot of repetition. But I want to see A, if anything has changed. And B, um, remind myself of how to play and also make sure that this particular playlist is a complete playlist with a, a full replay. So, Macaron. We've been searching for hours and we still can't find the village. I'm so tired. Are you sure that Commander Blue gave us the right directions? I'm starting to doubt it. What did we do wrong that he would send us so far from the capital, huh? Gosh. Use left stick to move around. Which seems perfectly fine. According to the map, the village should be close, right? By the way, wandering around in unfamiliar places is quite dangerous, don't you think? Yes, it, it, it is indeed. We should be prepared for anything, like the slimes in the next box over. <laughs> you know, just in case the monsters decide to ambush us. Of course, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. You should equip your weapon before we move on. Right, so... Oh. Okay, that one for the... the okay, cool. Select. Equip. B for back. Perfect. We are equipped, Macaron. All set? Good, let's get moving. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no, look! There's going to be monsters in this area. Huh? What's going on? Poor kid. Some gooeys are surrounding somebody. They aren't usually so aggressive towards people. Gosh, that poor kid. What do we do? Help her. You're right. We can never abandon someone in need. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Hey, you over there. I remember by the end of the last... The, uh, by the end of the demo, I think I can't remember where I did two. I think I might have done... Didn't your parents ever tell you to be kind to others, especially elders and kids? If you want someone to spar with, find someone who can fight back, like us right here. Yeah, right. Okay, so we aren't that strong, but you should find that out for yourself. I think I eventually started to get quite good at fighting. Uh, here they come, get ready. Okay, let's go, let's go. X to attack. X? No! Oh, which one's X? B to dodge, okay. X to attack. B to dodge. Okay, got ya.
Okay, I yeah, it took us a, a minute to so left for attack, right for dodge. Okay, I got you. Right. I struggle with controller buttons. I don't. Well, I play more with controller nowadays, but I don't play with it as much as keyboard and mouse. So. My my hands have to get reminded of which button is which. So when it's suddenly like A is fine, I remember A because that's the button I use all the time. But when it's like X and B and Y, I'm like, oh, <laughs> no sweat. Hey kid, are you okay? Doesn't take long to find to work it out. Though. That was awesome. I've never seen anyone fight like that. Ho ho ho! That's because we've been training for years, or five minutes. Pretty cool though, right? Anyway, we probably should escort you home. It's getting late, right, Nyan? Thank you, kind travellers. I live not far from here. Or is it Nyan? I think it's like Nyan Cat. Nyan. I'll show you the way. Oh, a guide. Wonderful. Let's go. So going back to the farm. I do have a cup of tea here, so I will be sipping on it. The blacksmith bear. I love this little town. I think it's really cool. But I am looking forward to continuing the adventure. I was definitely disappointed when I got to the end last time. We just, we had just discovered magic and that game ended. I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, definitely want to go through this again and uh, get my magic back. Okay, poor village. Grampy! Grampy the goat. Oh, my precious kid. Thank goodness. I was worried you might get into trouble. Is, is the kid actually a kid? They look more like a bunny rabbit to me than a, than a goat kid, but oh well. She was already in trouble, I might add. I told you not to play too far from the village, Erin. It's still dangerous out there. I'm sorry, Grampy. There was a pretty dragonfly near the river I wanted to catch. Yeah, definitely a bunny rabbit. Then I ended up bumping into some angry monsters. I was so afraid, Grampy. I'm glad these two were there to help me. Thank you, brave travellers. Okay, <laughs> poor Grampy. You should be more mindful of your surroundings next time. Thanks for your help. Sorry, thank you for helping my granddaughter. I hope she doesn't cause you any more trouble. Bah, where are my manners? Welcome to Poor Village. I'm Oliver, the village chief. May I ask who you are? Oh, Poor Village, great. We've been looking for this place for hours. I'm Macaron, and this is Nianza Von Whiskers. Oh, Nianza Von Whiskers, I love that name. Our commander sent us here after receiving word that nearby monsters were causing a disturbance. Ah, soldiers from the capital city, thank goodness you're finally here. That's right, we've been having some problems with monsters outside the village. Meh, they seem more aggressive lately and it's causing us nothing but trouble when gathering resources from nearby areas. Nobody here can fight. So we needed to seek help from the capital city. Don't worry, Chief. From now on, we'll take care of those problems so you can live in peace. Thank you very much. I feel safer knowing you are here now. It is getting late. Please feel free to stay the night at our house if you'd like. Oh, that's okay, Chief. Usually, we already have a place to stay. Do you know the way to Uncle Payne's old place? Are you one of Payne's relatives? Oh, yes. Nyanza is his grandchild. It's a pity we couldn't visit him while he was still around. I hope he wouldn't mind us staying at his old house for a while. Bah, don't worry, brave soldiers. Pain Thunderbun was one of the kindest men I ever knew. I knew he would be glad to let you stay. You're a relative, after all. Please follow me. I'll show you one of the way to his old house. So here we are. Once it loads. Things do load faster now, though. It might look shabby from the outside, but it's quite spacious and comfortable within. I hope you enjoy your stay here. It looks fine from the outside. What are you on about? As long as there are comfy beds, it will be perfect. Thanks for bringing us here, Chief. You must be tired from your journey. I won't keep you any longer. Please rest. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Night. Okay, let's go home, Erin. Night, Macaron. Night, Nyanza. Okay, we're finally here. Let's go inside and get some rest. My feet hurt, gosh. Now this game does have some farming, but you get to it a little bit later on. It doesn't teach you how to do it for a little while, so. This is my sell box. Yeah, I can sell things. I don't have much to sell, but uh, we can if we want to. There's a well down there. There's uh, fireflies and stuff. 
There's uh, rocks and things, but like I say, you've got to wait just a little while for the game to actually give you all your tools and things for that. So we're going to go to bed and we're going to follow the storyline along until we are allowed to do that. So the mirror, I can change my appearance to, uh, I better be able to do calico, to calico because uh, my favorite cat in the world, who I'm very biased about, my, my little Tilly, she is a calico. So I like to be a calico wherever I can. We're gonna do a save file. Progress has been saved, okay. Ah, it looks like. Oh, I can save as many saves as I want, but it looks like it just automatically saved over the autosave, but that's fine. I could probably do manual saves if I want to. So let's go to sleep and see what the morning brings. Progress must be saved again. <laughs> so it's good to have a manual save though. I, I don't trust auto saves quite as much as I do my own manual saves. Right, so good morning on Thunderbun Farm. So I don't think, where's Macaron today? No mail, uh, I can't do anything with the farm. So methinks let's go into the, into the village. We've got the practice targets as well. But at the moment, I can only hit and block, so. <gasps> What's wrong, Tim? Did something happen? Monsters chase. Good morning, everyone. Eh, hey, did something happen? You don't look so good. Ah, young soldiers. Good morning. I hope you're well rested. Our provisioner here seems quite troubled with something. Take a deep breath, Tim, then tell us what happened. I... I was on the way back from picking up some goods for the shop. When I reached by River Field, I was surprised by a group of orcs, as if they were waiting for me. I was so scared, Chief, I dashed away as quickly as I could before they could get me. But I left my bag behind. It has the things you, Miss Apple, and Sage Alby requested. What am I supposed to do? It is okay, Tim. At least you're not hurt. That's the most important thing right now. Young soldiers, I am sorry for the sudden request. Would you be willing to help Timmy locate his things? As I mentioned, none of us here can fight, so you're our only hope. Soldiers? You can fight? Please, friends, help me out my bag back. All right, Chief, we'll help Timmy out. Besides, it's a tad strange that the orcs decided to venture outside their territory. I sure hope it isn't the calamity. We need to determine the cause and report to our commander. Very well, please, always be on your guard. I have heard nasty things about these bleating orcs. Tim, do you have any remaining supplies? Yes, I still have some croissants on me. Here, please take these. Eating them will replenish your health. Sorry for the trouble, friends. Please be careful. Thank you. Please wait for our return. So I'm going to try not to take damage. I mean, I, I was taking damage earlier because I wasn't um, quite as uh, aware. Now we could talk to a few people around here as well. Or we could just go straight out and fight and do the quest. I think that's my, maybe what I'll do this time. All the time in the world to talk to people. Okay, so up with a field. Let's have a look. So, fight, block. Not too difficult right now. Left bumper button. Special attack. Okay, so we do have a special attack now. Takes a while to replenish, and it looks like I can only do them four times a day, so I've wasted one of those, but it was good to, it was good to trial it to know. Cool, you can kind of get them before they even attack, which is great. There's a chest there, I should really open that. Got some apples in it, nice. Oh, that one smacked me a bit. So I probably do need to roll. Sometimes I need to roll, sometimes I don't. I could maybe eat an apple to replenish that, but it's a, it's a shame I have to. The better I can fight, the less I have to worry about these things. There we are. Mush 
mushroom. I can't get the mushroom though. It's a bit annoying that one because he's out of my sight there. Yeah, I'm getting better at this block in Malarkey. That's why I thought I'd have a little practice on the gooeys because they're going to be easier to fight against than orcs, no doubt. I think the orcs were this way. I kind of remember from last time. There we are. So I only got hit once in all of those fights. That's not too bad, I don't think. Like I said, I'm going to do better the less I get hit, so... I shouldn't need my special attack for just these guys. No, I'm gonna kind of ignore this area a little bit. There's like a big old boss around here as well that needs to be totally ignored get into the area where the orcs actually are. There's one thing practicing fighting and there's another thing like... Yeah, there we are. There's his satchel. Okay. One thing fighting the things I had to practice. It's another thing. Oh, okay. I need to concentrate on this. Got him. Nice. That's why to lock on target. I don't need to lock at the moment. But unfortunately... This is going to be harder because... There are two of them. So just basically gotta be kind of oh smacked. Right, it should be easier now. I've got one of them down. There you go. I took one hit. Okay, so not not perfect, but. Uh, Okay, so there's a chest down here for me. Some poor pennies. There's a satchel. With Timmy's bag. There's an apple. And the reason I'm gonna just leave until a bit later the, uh, the, the big guy is because like I'm gonna get things that are gonna make it easier for me to kill him. So what's the point in killing him right now? Gooey. It drops good stuff, I think. But I just see no point. Got vines. Nice. Well, it'd be probably good to get him out of the way, like, sooner rather than later. But like I say, maybe once I've got ranged weapons. I'm just going to run back now, I think. I'm not going to worry too much about, like, killing everything. Because it respawns every time you come through here, so <laughs> there's no point. Unless I'm, like, grinding for goo or something. Sounds like a quest title, doesn't it? Grinding for goo. Right, so. Rose, Caramel and Erin. There are my are our kids. Chief Oliver. Hello, did you have a good rest? Please talk to the other villagers if you need something in particular, kid. Okay, well, let's go find Timmy. Timmy. Croissants. I didn't have to use any of my croissants at all. That was awesome. Hi, Timmy. Oh, my bag. The journey begins. Apparently, I've got an achievement there. Thank you so much. You're my saviour. You're curious about the orc's behaviour? I'm sorry, friends. I don't know much about it either. It surprised me, too. But maybe, just maybe, Sage Albi might know something about this. 
Oh, right, you've never met him before, have you? He's the village wise man, most knowledgeable person I've ever met. I heard he used to be a professor at the Royal Academy. Even though I studied there, he never taught any of my classes and none of the other professors ever seemed to talk about him. Do you want to meet him? I'm certain he can give you some information about what's happening. He lives on the outskirts of the village, the forest entrance to be exact. While you're at it, perhaps you could bring him this package. It's some stuff you requested from me. Don't lose it, alright? Now, I need to get organised and go deliver some packages myself. If you're ever in need of supplies, don't hesitate to come to my shop. See you again, friends! Okay. Go we'll talk to Ms. Apple. Well, hello there! Why aren't you the new villager? My name is Apple. I run Apple's Eatery. If you're ever hungry and need to replenish your energy, feel free to come to me. I'm going to try very hard not to need to. And then we've got uh, this big old bear who's a blacksmith. Shamrock. Welcome to Black Bear, ba Black Bear Blacksmith. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. I'm Shamrock. If you need to craft any equipment, you can come and find me here. Okay. Yeah, a beginner sword, a long sword, a veteran sword, gladiator sword, great sword, holy sword. I think if I, uh, oh, right trigger, okay. Beginner bow, so I need a mushroom, 10 wood, and a thousand gold. I'll be able to actually get a proper bow going on. Um, need vines and, oh, right, right, right. So I could get a hunting bow with my beginner bow if I kill the, I believe I get that berry thing from the, the big boss dude, so that would be a good thing to do, get the hunting bow. Okay, so this apple and Timmy. I already had the stuff out of that chest. Hello, are you going to fight monsters today? Yes. Living with Auntie Apple is hard. She always talks too much, but her food is so delicious. I'm bored. Can we do something fun later? Oh, they're so cute. I love them so much. Right. Let's have a look around. There's chests and things around, so we want to make sure we grab them. I need a copper key for that one. Okay, I might get one eventually. I can see one around here though that probably doesn't require a key to open. 200 poor pennies. Oh, wonderful. Someone's keeping slimes as a, as pets. I'm hoping I can do that eventually, maybe. I don't know. Let's chat to Kiki. Welcome to White Rabbits. We provide only the best quality fruit and vegetable seeds. Come and visit us from time to time. Ah. I think, though, I need to I need to work out what the next part of my quest is, really. Maybe we'll go talk to Oliver. Well, actually, the next part of the quest is actually going to speak to Sage Alby. One of the perks of living in a small village is that the air is natural and fresher than in the city. Of course, they have more advanced technology in the city, but... All right, let's just head out and see if we can get up to Sage Alby, because I think... Um, look at menu. Should give me my quests. Hang on, right trigger. A package for Alby. Yeah, so let's just do that one. I think that's going to be the best thing we can do right now. I'm probably just going to run past most of the slimes. I might give a couple of a little whack. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I get any, like, EXP for killing them, though. I think it might just be, uh, like weapons and stuff. I don't know if you get EXP and, and level up, so I think you might just get stronger as you go through the story and collect spells and all that sort of thing, so... Well, that wasn't worth doing, was it? Let's just go see LB, shall we? I'll probably go to bed soon, so I'm thinking if I can just avoid getting hurt too much before bedtime, and I'll just get my health back by sleeping. Excuse me, Sage Alby. Who are you? Uh, sorry to bother you. We're here to deliver you a package. I don't know you. Go away. But you know the village provisioner? He asked us to bring this package to you. We're telling you the truth. Give me the package and leave. Oh, is this cold, Sage? We were told that you sorry, you would know more about why monsters are becoming more aggressive. I'm sorry if it's rude to bring up when we've just met, but you're supposed to have worked at the Royal Academy. Timmy said so. You of all people must be very curious about it. We're trying to get as much information as we can to figure out how to deal with it. That's at least what scholars in the city would do. Ah, uh, sorry, we haven't properly introduced ourselves, and here I am questioning you. 
were soldiers from the capital city assigned to protect poor village from monsters. I don't trust anyone claiming to be from the capital city. Leave immediately. But why? What happened? As far as I'm aware, the Empire rules well, both the city and the wider territory. Well, sometimes our commanders can be a bit harsh, I won't lie about that. But what they're doing is for the people's sake. You are but mere cubs. You cannot understand. The only thing that matters to the Empire is power and how to conquer the world with it. You are their subjects. You say they're here to help us, for now, but in the future, who knows? Perhaps they'll tell you to arrest someone who defies them. What? Look, Sage, I don't know what happened between you and the Empire. But I assure you that our purpose is to protect the people. We promise to maintain peace. If you find out what the, that we're lying to you, you can drive us out of here by force. Seriously? It's the only way, Nyan, otherwise he'll never trust us. Why? Why have they sent you here? We don't need any help. We can bear the responsibility of defending the village ourselves. Oh no you can't, it was Chief Oliver who sent the request to the Royal Guard in the first place. He's worried that people won't be able to live normally if the situation continues. Why were we assigned to this place? Because I lost a bet with Commander Blue. Not again. <laughs> What's it like that? Commander Blue thought it might be easier to adapt to the area if we were assigned a place that our family was from. How I wish Uncle Payne was with us right now. So I wouldn't have to deal with this pesky sage. Did you say pain? You knew pain, Thunderbun. Oh gosh, why hadn't I thought of that earlier? Yes, we knew him. You didn't know he had a grandchild? Now you'll believe us? Grandchild? You're his grandchild? Me? Do I look like Uncle Payne? Was he as round and pink as I am? It's Nianza, of course. Though you might notice they're from different species. I assure you, they're from the same family. Very well. If you are indeed his grandchild, you should have some idea about what happened between us scholars and the Empire. We've never heard anything about it. Our commander certainly hasn't told us anything. Do you know anything about it, Nyan? Nothing. So they haven't told you. Very well, take this. Mysterious book. If you really are Payne's grandchild, you'll know what this is and how to use it. Come back to me once you've figured it out. Now, be gone. Okay. Ugh, that annoying arrogant sage. Why would he be so rude? Hmm, this doesn't look like an ordinary book. Any idea what it is? No. We should ask... Oh, should we ask Timmy? He may know something. Alright, let's go find Timmy. I might give a couple of gooeys a, a bish in the way. I imagine the more goo I have, the more pennies I can make out of it. He gave me a bash as well. Um, sometimes I'm just being a little too uh, overconfident, I think. Uh, pushing my luck a bit too much when I should be dodging. So that's definitely something I need to work on. Well, that's cool. That's why you spend a day sort of practicing and, and working on your working on your technique. That was good, two at once. Yay! So when I'm able to get a sword that does a bit more damage, I should be able to take the gooeys out before I even get to the point, well, yeah, before I even get to the point where, um, where the little red cone comes up. Try not to choke on my tea there. Ah. 
trying to drink it fast so that I can talk. Right, so, uh, the next thing I want to do, I think, is go to sleep. Well, let's see if Timmy's there. No, Timmy's gone and it's all closed and it's all night time. So it's definitely time for a new day and to save the game up as well. However, I think we're only probably about halfway through the episode, so we'll definitely be able to do, I think, another day. Maybe we'll get to the farming bit. We'll have to see. I think it's Kiki that gives you the farming stuff, but I think event, I think she um, will only give it to you at the, the, the correct part of the day, so... Of the, uh, sorry, not the day, of the quest line. You have to be far enough through for her to want to give you that stuff. So, new day. We'll go talk to Timmy about the magical book. Oh, sorry, mysterious book. It's not magical, it's mysterious. But it might be magical too. Probably is actually in this game. Right. Hello, Timmy. Oh, hello, my friends. Looking for something? Huh? You're not here to shop? Then how can I help? Assessing a mysterious item, you say? Hmm, let me see. Is this really yours? Where did you get it? You don't know what it is, huh? I thought someone from the city would be better informed. This, my friends, is a spell book. Items like this are forbidden, you know. You must have heard of magic wielders, surely. They're no mere rumour, I tell you. If they were, why would the Empire make some ridiculous law forbidding magic use? Simply owning a spellbook is breaking the law. You could get accused of attempted treason. Don't worry, I'm not going to report you or anything. Besides, you're more likely to report it to your superiors. But I beg you, please don't do that. I knew someone who could perform magic and he wasn't evil at all. He kept the village safe from monsters after the vi city decided to abandon Rivero Fortress. That's why I know that magic isn't something to be feared. It's not like what you hear in the city. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you much more about it. I suggest you go home and read the book, see if it changes your mind. At least then, if you decide to arrest the owner of this spellbook, you know precisely what it contains. Not just because you're following some stupid law. Quest accepted a spellbook. So, uh, we need to go and read it. You need to read it at home, apparently. Okay. Move with one hand, drink tea with the other. Yes. He is gone. Okay, so we're at home, we're reading the book. And reading the book, and reading the book, and reading the book some more. And pondering. Did you make the correct decision? Did Do you desire to unleash the power within you? I wish only for your safety, after all. I'm sure in the demo I got a choice, but I, I think... I thought you were studying the book, but you fell asleep. Gosh. Huh? Did you have a weird dream? Unleash your power. What power? I don't know. Perhaps it means... Let's go outside now. Or are you planning to destroy the roof above our heads? You really are a good-for-nothing grandchild, aren't you? I feel like that wasn't 100% complete, but... Um... Regardless, we can now uh, part, uh, cast a, a fireball. So, left trigger. 
lock a target. In fact, I don't know if I need to lock a target. How do I unlock? I have no idea. That worked pretty well. So we learned magic now. Yay! Gosh, no, and you just use magic. Does that mean Uncle Payne was a magician? A pesky sage must know. Let's go find him. So back to the sage. I think I'm going to just try and um, do as much quest as I can because I know we've done a lot of this before. So I'm just going to do that and then we'll probably try and uh, grind up some weapons and stuff as well. Got 820 coins. So I probably need to have a good look around the village and make sure that I've uh, opened any chests that are around as well. And I think eventually I'm going to get um, the means to chop down trees, or certain trees anyway. Aha, you thought you were going to get me, but no. There's a lot of gooeys around here and I don't have time to fight them all. I'll fight the odd one or two and just collect up their mucus. I might be able to sell it or use it for something. Use it for crafting. I think a lot of the stuff that you get off the monsters you can use for crafting. I'll be able to get myself an upgraded sword at some point as well. But yeah, let's chat to Sage Albi. Oh, it's you. Have you figured it out? Really? I never expected you to be so efficient. That young provisioner helped you. No wonder. Still, I'm impressed by your courage. You aren't fully grasping the situation and yet you can continue to press on. I'm not sure whether that's smart or careless. Very well, I'll answer your questions. What do you want to know? About the book. Scholars from the Royal Academy examined the relics and used their power to create spell books. They thought that we could use the same power that enraged the monsters to defeat them. Unfortunately, they stumbled upon a new problem. Not anybody can become a magic wielder, a person who can recite the knowledge of the spellbooks to control magic. Magic needs a vessel that's strong enough to hold its power. Your grandfather, Payne Thunder Thunderbun, sorry, was one of a few people who could. This is probably the reason why you can also harness the magic contained in the spellbook. The problem we now face is that there are no magic wielders remaining, as far as I know. You must be familiar with the anti-magic laws the Empire has imposed. Magic use was banned shortly after they succeeded in defeating the monster uprising. There's no time. We need to move quickly. I still don't trust you completely, but you're the most suitable person to bear this task. We must gather the relics. Do you have the courage for this quest? Of course. Thank you. Allow me to explain what you need to do. We need to retrieve the ancient relics. My colleagues sealed them away within several dungeons. To avoid discovery, they decided not to disclose their whereabouts. I believe there's a dungeon nearby. That's where we should begin this search. Before you go, you must remember the most important thing. Do not let anybody else know about this, not even your superiors. Everything we've discussed in this cottage you must keep to yourself. It will be dangerous for you, me and the entire village if anyone associated with the Empire were to find out about this. We must be careful. Your safety is the utmost priority, after all. We don't want to lose our only hope of restoring peace, do we? Good luck. What be this? So spell book it gives me all of my different skills. Sword skills, bow skills. I think fire magic is the one I have. Fireball. No water, no air. And no earth. Okay, so let's just uh, go and uh, get the relic. I feel like I'm on a roll here, so. Just gonna ignore these guys until I need them. Which... Oh gosh, okay. Do I have to kill these guys before I can go hunting for the. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. I might get quiet when I'm fighting a little bit because like I'm like proper concentrating. <laughs> I found some coal. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into the menu and just double check my, my quest log uh, because River Cave in West Poorfield. Oh, okay. Where are we right now? 
I don't think we're near the river cave in West Poorfield. Up river field. This one is... Forest entrance. Okay, right, that's why. Because that'll probably go into the, into the forest or something. I'm just forgetting the map a little bit here. So... West is to the left, I figure. I know I am weak at my east and west, but uh, I really thought about it. It's definitely to the left. So is this West Poorfield, this one? Yes. Right, so somewhere around in this area, there will be a cave. I think it's north. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. I'll go across this little bridge. checkpoint there. Save. And we'll just quickly jump into the cave. River Dungeon 1F. I heard the monsters in this dungeon are stronger than those outside. Do you think we'll find ancient relics in here? What if we've been tricked and die in vain? No, no. I won't let that happen. We need to survive, Nian, and show the sage we're capable of this task. Okay, so there's bats and things in here. I could really do with a bow at this point, I think. But I can just fight with a sword. As long as I avoid the red triangle, I'm fine. Batwing! Yay! Cool! Lots of poor pennies in here, so hopefully I will get enough by the time I've done this whole cave. Fingers crossed anyway. Honestly, Porsche helps me with this. <laughs> All the dodging and stuff I had to do in there, I'm starting to learn how to dodge properly. I got a vengeful soul crystal thing. Nice. So yeah, I do feel like it'll be a little bit easier once I get bows and things, but uh, at the moment it's fine. If I have a, a big fight to do, I might use my fire. A shroomy? What? Ah, oh, and there's a bass as well. No. Get off me. Fluffy the bat. They all got names. I'm like killing them and they're named. I feel bad. Then again, they are aggressive. So. ton of poor pennies in these, are we? Oh, 10 there, okay. 15, all right, okay, getting more as we go through, I think. You're terrible, my goodness. That was hard. I might need to use my fire here because ah no I got my that was my first beat up there I also have an itchy nose now which is not good okay, he's dead nice I'm trying really hard just like where they've given me croissants and things to just not take the damage if possible and then not have to use them. But if I do have to use a croissant to get through like a big dungeon or something, that's fine, you know. But the idea is to try not to. It's one of these games where you're gonna have more stuff to sell if you're good at the game and you don't uh, and you don't suck. So <laughs> I'm trying to be good at the game and not suck. 
Doesn't always work, but, uh, you know. So far, one hit off a of Shroomy, and that's because I tried to use my Fireball. I need to use it from further back and just take a bit of their health off, and then boom, boom, boom. Run away. Are you enraged or something? You had like a fiery aura going on there. Well, that might have been something to do with me. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I think they're taking um, uh, maybe damage over time. Pretty sure the last time I came in here I had a bow, but <laughs> I think I'm doing okay with just my sword, to be fair. Okay, I think this is blocking me because I haven't um, killed everything on the level, so... Gonna have a good look around. We nearly have a thousand poor pennies at this point. So that will be enough to get me a bow, which will be really cool. I'm just gonna have a quick look at my menu and just see if there's any like, um... Okay, so there's my health. My attributes. Okay. That's quite nice, I like that. Active skills, rapid thrust and fireball, okay. And then... Okay, oh, you can remap your keys, that's nice. So if you wanted attack to be A, for example, you could absolutely do that. But I think I'm quite happy with it being X and just learning that because it differentiates it from talking, which I think is nice. 100 poor pennies there. Oh, we're doing, nice. we're doing well for poor pennies now, yay. And your silver key for that, oh. I don't think I can even come back in here and I've not got a silver key, so boo. Or maybe I'll get one, I don't know, we'll see. So that's still there. Well, okay, well we can... Did that, okay. Just keep going backwards and round and see if I can find other enemies. I'm almost certain. Ah, you, okay. Shroomy is dead. That's back, so I can't go back. That's fine. So I guess I go this way. Another chest there. So it's good because it's making me find all the chests, which is awesome. Right, I'm hoping that that is now it. So I just had to kill everything. I couldn't get the silver chest and I couldn't get into the middle whatever's glowing there. I don't know if that was something I needed, but... It's rather quiet here. Hmm, that's strange. It's totally not going to be a boss fight. <laughs> Wait, something's here. Get ready. Okay, I have to do the cutscene before I'm allowed to shoot fireballs at him. Okay, now I am. Skill is on cooldown. Okay. Let me be quiet while I kill the boss, okay? He's not difficult. <laughs> I got an achievement for that, that was awesome. Phew, that guy was no fun. I'm guessing that every relic has a guardian like this. We should ask the sage about it. 
Anyway, let's retrieve the relic and get out of here quickly. Yeah. One copper key. One relic. So we can open the copper chest in town now. Relic of power. Ah, look, a teleporter to poor village. Perfect. That's absolutely what I want to do. Although I say that, but... The west... Okay, I need to go to back to the forest. In fact, I need to go back to my house and have a sleep, I think. It's getting very late at night, and people don't like to talk to me that late at night. Well, that's awesome. We got the first, um... Oh, hello, Kiki. You need anything from me? Well, I will eventually, but... I guess that's a chest I can use for, like, overflow and things. But yeah, everything's closed. It's very late at night, so I figure I need to go back to, uh, to my place and have a rest. Oh, and I, I think that's the end of the episode. How sad! But, we did quite well. We did the first relic we got our magical powers um so i feel like we did, did a lot in that one episode oh i've got a spell book here so i can change all my skills up in in the house as well so let's uh go and and say goodbye and i'll save up and i'll uh, and i'll sleep the night and then we'll come back for the next episode so i hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you would like to see more kataria fables please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.